Hi everyone, my name is Wawa and today I'm gonna show you guys some high level gameplay as we are gonna watch a Platinum League player going up against a Diamond League player. Now this is actually a challenge. I posted in sreplays.com forums and I asked people to play novice maps even though they are not in the practice league. So we are gonna see players with experience on how they would deal with obstacles in novice maps as it will be a prologue versus Zerg match today as we see Semtex here is gonna be our purple Zerg today and Kalma Black will be our yellow Protoss today as we see that Pylon going down at the 9 o'clock spot this will be the first of the three matches that they have sent me and I hope you guys like this first one because you guys are gonna get two more videos out of me or comments are out of me in my future cast and we are gonna play at the map novice desert oasis as you guys see here by the disruptible rocks again it is a novice setting but this map is really different compared to other novice maps and i will tell you guys soon as the game progresses as we see standard build orders here from the two players now, uh, in this map, a lot, of, a lot of people say that Protoss has the map advantage because of these high ledges over here and it's a very very big and wide area for Colossal or Stoppers to blink up, up, up on and they could just easily walk through here and just climb up over there and that's it. Also, early air is a big advantage in this map because of this short rushing distance from air it is really different if you compare the rushing distance from ground to air it is like a 10 second differential at least which really makes you wonder what strategies to do also in novice maps there is no need for Protoss to wall off especially this blistering rocks being here there's no need for that but same again I can say for the pro for the Zerg that he could do the earliest expansion in the map here because of these overlords they could just easily hover around going through the enemy's base with ease and he can also safely get his hatchery very very early not worrying anything about harassing or scouting from the enemy and that's also one of the major themes from novice maps is that it kills off that early scout really defeats the idea of early scouting and really gives you a blind spot or some blindness on how to how to deal with your enemy in maps like this so you never you you can never really tell if whenever you play protoss if you have to make a stalker early on because that usually might, might come really early or void race or some reapers or you, if you could just stack up real soon because some people don't really rush in novice maps but we have never really seen high level players play in novice maps as we see the queen here being spawned and spewing up those larva eggs and Semtex are going for a second guess already so we can see some high tech already from Semtex might be going for Hydralis because he got he did get this second expector or he might go for Mutalis which is pretty ideal again in this map as we see uh, cybernetics are already down for comma but only one gateway so pretty, it's pretty confident that there's no need to <coughs> get those zealots early out and he really ought to go for the stalkers pretty soon pretty early as we see just the second gateway coming out but he does have two assimilator assimilators though so he might go for tech he might go for Colossal, which is pretty good. Maybe a Colossal stalker ball here might do the trick. Just blink down here. And just blink up here. And it's gonna be easy game for the Protoss player. If he does accomplish it. As we see Septic's natural here. Uh, being saturated, being almost saturated already. But at least he's trying to, but he's complete. He is supply block right now, but pretty sure that's not really going to be a big issue as the game goes on 
and we do see a robotic facility here for Koma and he's gonna try to put up that early observer already just just to have a feeling or just to know what this enemy of his is up to or if he is going for air mass air or mass dirtlings he would know what to do because you do deal or you do do different things with dealing those with those units as warp gate technology being finished already for coma and a third gateway going down for coma gateways i mean gateway units are pretty effective against zerg units because they're pretty strong right but i wouldn't say really say they're up against hi hydra roach balls because hydras and roaches are really really strong against that gateway units especially against those stalkers roaches will do the tanking while hydras and zerglings just do the attacking as we see two queens here and the natural for some sex i don't know what this is for but he, maybe he wants more larvas but it's pretty hard because he can't really get that much larva or he can't really use that much larva because he, he's not really gonna have that much money or economy is gonna be pretty low at this early stage of the game and this, we see this extractor being not being used at all and this observer seeing everything what he needs to be seen and he knows that there's an expansion already for the zerg which is to be expected because that's pretty standard for zergs right now and an evolution chamber is up also a hydro then I'm not sure why this evil changer is up because he's not really upgrading right now but maybe because he's gonna go for sp sport crawlers and yeah he's gonna go for sport crawlers so that in, if that void race would come in he, he can easily take care of them and that observer is gonna be taken out pretty quickly by the stalkers uh, I guess not good job like Samtek to keeping that units alive now keep in mind that these two guys are pretty experienced guys and will probably do more compared to the regular noob that we usually see and don't be surprised if you see any harassing or and more units coming out from them now we do see big technology being made here or being researched here by Koma so he is going for math for blink stalkers and pretty sure a lot of it as we look at the unit stats right now he already has 10 stalkers as to 6 hydralis 4 semtex and 4 queens so it's still pretty close match I would say especially if those hydras really move fast especially at creeps but semtex needs to do a better job expanding these creeps unless of course he's gonna go for a spot for mutas which is what that is gonna do it's gonna hard a hard, you know, he's gonna have a hard time with this gas economy because he's not really saturating this extractor here over here, and he's actually fully saturated at his main base. He should definitely move some of those drones to his expansion, as <laughs> creep being spitted out here by these overlords, which is pretty smart. And here we go. Those stalkers blinking up to Semtex base and he's gonna attack, start attacking those buildings and it's gonna be completely killing all these idle hydrogen. Semtex here not really expecting this attack early on as we see these hydrogen going down one by one and more zero things are popping out and is due to to the expansion which is not really good and he doesn't really notice. Oh no, oh no, he's gonna have a hard time defending all of these units. As you see, those things finally coming back to deal with this Dockers and those hydros. And I don't think they're gonna be able to do it because Palma here might bring a little bit with this Dockers, trying to save them those low HP units and putting those high HP units in the front line. And he is gonna do indeed kill off all of Santec units. And this is not gonna be looking good for Santec right now here focusing on this uh, hydro stand before even that research completed. Yeah, research completed that. 
come here microing away from this stupid dude here over here. And he's actually doing pretty good with his micros right now. But we do see more hydrolysis from Santex, but I'm not really sure if it's gonna be enough. And it will, won't be enough, that's for sure, as we see more backs up here from Koma. And it's looking like it's already a GG for Koma. And as this evolution chamber goes down, I don't know what else Com Santex can do against Koma. And <laughs> these is not even having their speed upgraded yet. So that's not really looking good for Santex right now as if these drones here coming into play last ditch effort to survive this harass which is not gonna look turn out to be good as it, they do kill one of those stalkers there but it is over already and that's the same as there is no more miners here for Santex but his expansion is still being looking good but I'm not sure how far he could go with just the expansion as this main base is gonna go down and there it is GG from Semtex good game for the two players nice play by Kama Black and by the way Kama Black is our diamond league player as you guys can see by experience and by re by the league differential that Kama has a little bit more technique in his background compared to Semtex and I hope you guys enjoyed that first cast expect two more videos from these guys and I'll see you guys next time uh, bye peace